Guess what, Paddington? Mm -hmm. The steam fair's coming to town. Ooh. I'm going along tonight to write about it in my newspaper. Mm. Who's going to want to read about that? Everyone. <laughs> they travel the world in an old steam train. I thought you'd love it. I do. Don't tell anyone, OK? Not cool. Why don't we all go? Good idea. Father's a dab hand at the coconut shay. Mm. All's I brown, they used to call him. Oh, not anymore. Coconuts are a young man's game. Well, I think you're in great shape for a man your age, Mr Brown. Ah, thank you, Paddington. Hang on, how old do you think I am? Oh, about 80. 80? At least. Just a minute, young bear. Hmm? I thought I told you to wash behind your ears. Oh, but I did, Mrs Bird. I... I wonder how that got in there. Oh, what's this? <sighs> ah, that must be the popping book. Very interesting. Really? You see, Madame Kosliver's great-grandmother, who started the fair, was also a brilliant artist. And every time they visited a new city, she made a popping book to remember it by. Oh, and this is London. Oh, Mr. Gruber. It's wonderful. Aunt Lucy always dreamed of coming to London and never had the chance. But if she saw this, it would be like she were finally here. Aunt Lucy! Aunt Lucy! Paddington! Oh. Aunt Lucy. Oh, yes, please. I want to see everything. Well, what do you think? It's wonderful. All aboard. One and a half bears, please. Mind your step, madam. Oh, what a polite young man. What a polite young pigeon. You've made an old bear so very happy. This is perfect. Now then, simmer down, simmer. All right, a little bit more. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm at my worst tonight, I really am. I am tickled the deepest shade of shrimp to have been asked here tonight to open this wonderful old steam fair. But you know, when Madame Kosliver created this thing all those years ago, she most certainly was not thinking of people like me. Whatever I am, VIP, celebrity, I hate all that stuff. No, no, West End legend, that's another one. <laughs> no, no, she was thinking of you guys, huh? The ordinary people. So, I'm going to ask one of you to come up here and open the fair. Volunteers. Anyone. Meeny, meeny, miny. Bear. Jim Barber. Oh, I'm not the barber. I just tidy up. Yeah, well, that's all I want. Tidy up the back and sides, nothing off the top. Yes, but... No, but come on, man. Chop, chop. If you say so, sir. Ah. 
Nelson, there's nothing to be afraid of. Come in, take a seat. We'll go somewhere else. Prison is no laughing matter. And I should know, I spent three years in Les Miserables. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Buchanan, you live on the same street as the defendant. I do. And you were an eyewitness to the events that night. Indeed, I was. I was up late when I became aware of a hullabaloo in the street below. I went to my awards room, which is a large room overlooking the newspaper kiosk, and I saw young Paddington riding a rather disreputable-looking hound. Mary Brown drew this based on the bear's description of the man he claims he was chasing. <laughs> Did you see him on the street that night? Oh, a handsome devil, isn't he? Hmm? Dazzling eyes. Yes, but did you see him? Your answer will tell us whether the bear is guilty. Did you see this man? Alas, I did not. <gasps> um, excuse me, Mr. Knuckles? Yes? I just wondered if I could have a quick word about the food. Send a medic to the canteen. You want to... Complain? Oh, no, I, I wouldn't say complain. Oh, that's a shame, because I just love it when people complain. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, in that case, it's very gritty. Oh. And lumpy. And as for the bread, need I say more? I think we need to completely overhaul the menu. Now, I know we're working to a tight budget, but we could at least add some sauce. Sorry about that, I'll just, uh... Hmm. No, that's just rubbing it in. Don't worry, I know what gets ketchup stains out. Hang on. Was it mustard? Hmm, no. That's just made it worse. Does anyone know what works on ketchup? Chaps? Hello? Who goes there? Reveal yourself. Henry. Hello, Phoenix. What on earth are you doing here? I might ask you the same thing. Well, I live here. It's my house. And I? Insure it. And for our Platinum Club members, we perform an annual free home inspection to verify your security arrangements. In your pyjamas? Mm-hmm. With your wife? Well, that all seems pretty secure. Oh, hello, Phoenix. Mary. <laughs> Didn't hear you come in. <laughs> she helps out when we're busy. Hello, window cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name? Paddington. Paddington? Yes. You wear a bear on your roof. <laughs> the hunt begins. Hmm? Mysterious things have been happening all over town. We're going to need a foolproof plan. This is breaking and entering. We haven't broken anything. Look! It's a cub. Lower me down. <gasps> We've got to 
got a cup to raise. What's he like? <laughs> he likes his marmalade. I have a feeling he'll go far. Uh. Dear Aunt Lucy, life in London has been better than ever. I really feel at home. If you had one wish tonight, what would it be? I'd like to get my Aunt Lucy a birthday present. Aww. An old pop-up book of London. The only problem is it's rather expensive. Where on earth did you find it? At Mr. Gruber's antique shop. <laughs> Stop! Thief! Cheerio. Hold it right there. We're rich again. Afternoon, chaps. I may look like a hardened criminal, but I really am innocent. I'm going to prove it. If you're going to clear your name, you're going to need our help. Paddington's made such sweet friends. I'm in. Oh! What a clever little bear. Come back with that book! Paddington looks for the good in all of us, and somehow he finds it. If we're kind and polite, the world will be right. Paddington 2. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Rated PG.